Let's roll. All right, let's rock and roll. Call the village, um, the village board of trustees to order. If we could all wait, uh, rise and pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you again. Uh, roll call. Maloney. Here. Cronin. Here. Hermeling is excused. Pinsonal. Present. Wyland. Here. Sagami. Here. Thank you. Anybody, uh, any have anybody for public comments? Public comments, anybody? Anybody online? I, can anybody remember the last time we did have anybody join us? I don't know. Even that inspector that I never know. It's pretty wild. Okay, it's pretty wild. It just feels like the tiger game or Halloween party. Um, meeting, uh, minutes from previous meeting, number four, approval of August 19, 2024, Board of Trustees meeting. It's a pleasure. Motion to approve. Motion to approve by Conan. Second. Second by Pinsano. Anything on the discussion? Yes. Jim? Oh. Yes. Jim? Um, on, Page 16. Okay. Um, motion by Erling, Erl Erl second by Zagami to approve reclassification of Anthony Steinus and uh, Carrie Edmondson effective immediately. Mm -hmm. um, the motion that was made was just the words so moved. Uh, I'm not opposed to having that take effect immediately. However, that's not the motion that was made. So, the so what was the motion made? What was it? So literally the words so moved. No, no, no. What were we going to To reclassify those employees and effectively immediately. Did not say effectively immediately. It didn't? No, there was no recommended language in the in the RFC outfit and there was no I'm deferring to Jamie. I, I remember specifically effective immediately was in there. Yeah. Yeah. I just would have to pull up the RFC. Mm -hmm. I I think though that that was the one where the RFCs weren't distributed. That RFC wasn't distributed. I don't know if anybody saw that RFC. They were emailed to everyone beforehand. Oh, they were emailed. They were emailed. Okay. Because RFC did say. Disputing the action that was taken, I find with the action being taken. Well, you, there's got to be something going on because of this who would pick up. So, since you're bringing it up, you're disputing something. I'm disputing so whether the minutes say yep. effective immediately. Yeah, the motion okay. that was made okay. in the audio yep. and in the in person when I was physically sitting in this chair, mm -hmm. the words by the trustee were so moved. Yep. That motion was seconded. Mm -hmm. There was no Is that in the packet? It's not in the packet. This was closed okay, session. So it's so not in the packet. It was emailed so out separate. separate. There was no, that's my concern, is there was no actual language in the packet to refer a sole move from. So we're not actually, we're making a motion out of a document that didn't exist at the meeting. Uh, it existed in closed session. It existed in closed session. I know, I know you have an issue with the sole move. I get that. Um, and, and until we get there, it might be months or years before we get there because we've been doing it this way for decades. Um, the gist of this board definitely meant it as so moved. I, I don't think you'll find anyone here saying that that's not what was meant. But because it wasn't printed or on paper or repeated, which is my fault, 
But we are not on Robert's rules of order, because that's where it kind of came from, but everything has to get repeated. But um, but the staff agrees, though, that it was effective in the end, correct? That's yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah. I'll try harder uh, to restate that with all the words in play, but it was discussed. Okay. So we're still on approval of the August 19, 2024 Board of Trustees meeting. You had a question? Um, I can't find it here, but it is there. It's second instead of Y, he said Y. Instead of E, Y, he said M, Y. So Which page? What did it say? It's, I can't find it. I just keep looking and I can't find it. But it didn't say by, it said what? My. My, my instead of by. Sometimes that stuff just screams at you because you see the printer. I think you should be serious if you can find it. Does it change the context of the? No. It doesn't? No. no. Okay. No. But it's still there. Okay. It just, it's just uh, it's in there. We do a so noted. So move on. I think Pam's just looking to see if she can spot it quick. Okay. Doing the search by my though might produce a lot of. Well, I just did second and then it's starting. It's like words I'm going through the minutes. So. Minutes. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go along with uh, so noted. Uh, any other discussions on the minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Uh, so carried. Uh, knowledge reports minutes from boards, committees, and commissions. Much a pleasure. We do acknowledge 6, 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, not currently. Uh, motion to approve what Jim said concurrently. Is there a second? I'll second. Uh, on the discussion, Jim. Um, the August 1st meeting is not in the packet, but July was. Um, is there, is there right. something? So the August minutes have not been completed yet, but we did never brought the July minutes to the board. Oh, so you're, you're just kind of reaching back and grabbing July. And I grabbed July because yeah. okay. July ones went to the park in August, and we just had the August meeting two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, and the minutes have not been completed. Well, okay. Make sure they're acknowledged by the board. Okay. And preferably, would love to have them in here because there are items on the agenda that came out of that committee. Um, but we felt like, you know, we could. That's why I asked the question. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. And the safer agenda was attached, but not the minutes. That's something we could. I, I'm, I'm super thrilled that we have all the Metro Police and Oversight and. Mm -hmm. Even the safer agenda in there. No, the that would have been my error. I'm sorry. It's all good. I, I'm well, we from, have, from which state? Uh, my favorite agenda. Which state? Uh, there yeah. was. Uh, so oh, okay. No, we met on July because we, the one we just had, we, uh, we I went to grab it. Time. I must have grabbed the agenda instead of the minutes. Not, 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 I apologize. Not, like I said, I'm thrilled that there are on five spaces here. They haven't been on it forever. They, they have never been on it. So awesome. Thank you. No further questions. Okay, and the, and the Everest Metro is on there slash uh, Mount Day because? Because there are committee Be commissions that have reports. Yeah, okay. because we still might have minutes from Everest Metro. Gotcha. All right. All right, so we have a motion and a second uh, to acknowledge. Any more in discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Acknowledge reports from departments. Read the administrator's report. Any more to add? Jim? No. Any discussion or questions for uh, Jim? Um, any status on the contract negotiations with the CUB? We are waiting for a draft agreement to arrive, which should be Wednesday this week, and then we'll. We had sent out a doodle poll for a special meeting for tourism, but we wanted to make sure we could get a hotelier who we will appoint tonight. So I, I do think that we'll end up having a special meeting of tourism early in October. Um, I think the 7th and the 8th were the dates that worked well, but we wanted to see if we could get somebody before we finalized the schedule for a meeting. We did have a shared meeting uh, uh, 
with Rothschild and Melinda West in, in the city. I, I think uh, some positive things are going to come out of that. Uh, and basically, it kind of went back and forth a little bit, maybe a little tough at, at some times, a little finger pointing, but at the end, we finally said, all right, enough of Rothschild giving you know, the contract up and then you denying, you tell us what you want, what you expect. And uh, I, I thought it was a good discussion. I really do. And, and I, I said, you know, if you, the 45 ain't going to be there from us. It just ain't going to go down. So let's say we go to 35. So let's say they give Rothschild a 30 and a 35 here. That's 65 of two communities, the second and third biggest ones, you know, generating money for them versus one community at 45% in the third place community. So I, uh, I think we actually got that okay from Greg Fisher. Um, who was in attendance also the president and uh, works for a grant uh, Pete as a general manager. So I, I, I thought it went good. Not at first, but it went good at the end. Yes? Yeah. And then we'll, I, I think that will weigh somewhat into our contract discussion, but um, is just, is what we wanted for the CBB to represent the entire area. Yeah. We, we, we desperately need lost that. And we're too close to them right now. But to not be helping them and not helping make that happen. Okay, thanks. Yeah. And you said there's a juniper that went out for two or something? Mm -hmm. Um it went out a little while ago, so it's not recent, but the so we have the we were waiting to see if we could get that member appointed, but you replied. But it didn't it's not recent. It went out yeah, with the numbers were there. I I waited to, to oh, reply yeah. I saw more numbers. So you must have been yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, administrator. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jen. Uh, I got a couple here. Um, negotiation on the lease agreement with Out of West. I went to their last meeting and we started a conversation about it. We have not presented them any documents yet. Okay. But it was received well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. The other, the thing that did, um, Jen was at that meeting too. The one thing that the town did say is. If the village secures a renter and it's in the best interest of the village, they would leave that building. Um, I think that's similar to what Crane Meadows said tonight. If you would find another use for this property and this is not its best use, we so, but the, the town did express that. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that some of the planning beds were moved here to the municipal center. Did that, uh, is there really something? We're okay, yes. Okay. Um, and then uh, who's paying for me by to come back and do the hydro seed topsoil? It's at a reduced rate, but there will be a bill for it. There, from Revi to the village, there will be an expense for that, but they are doing it at a reduced cost. Um, if Michael can help me with my memory, I want to say it was sixteen or eighteen hundred dollars for everything to do the overlay yeah. from the gates forward, yeah. the hydro seed. Um, oh, yes, was all the grass my eyes can see from the, from the fence, fence forward. That's a high Oh, I went high. $1,250. Sign me up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the village owns land over on 5207 River Park Place, too. No, they, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they do. I just needed it over. <laughs> okay. How big is the basement? There's never been. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have my rice cookies. Oh, so we're doing them all together. Okay. 1830. Um, the only thing that I want to mention is um, October 15th will be here before we know it for board of review. So if you have not, if you have the video and you have not watched it yet, please do so um, to be uh, prepared for that board of review meeting. How busy is Craig? He's doing fine. Yeah, okay. Yep. Good. Is anyone else here? Not, I, I, I will be able to be here for at least the second half of that meeting. I don't know if I will be here. So I just want to make sure we're going to have a quorum. It's Tuesday, October 15th from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Okay. I'd like to see that video. Okay. 
you have to let me know. When you're <laughs> yeah, I only have two Who's videos, the, and Who's Steve has one and Jamie has the other. Sure. You are required to meet for the two full hours, regardless if you have hearings. You'll have to meet for the two hours. You'll right. meet longer so, than that. So it, it meets at two o'clock, and it could be done as early as four, correct? Correct. But you have to yeah, meet. Yeah, you're required to meet for the first two hours. And I don't, I totally understand schedules, but please know that if someone comes and contests it and they want to take it to circuit court, you know, they not having trustees there is. I understand. Yep. And a hotel thing is a good one. <laughs> okay. Uh, any more? Third? No, you're on uh, act, ask for seven is coming up later, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, finance, Nikki. Any more? Uh, Jess, do you want to add something? Uh, yeah, so I just want to note that we did get our final audit and we'll be putting in next month's um, packet. And also, we talked about leases and stuff, and I didn't. We're, I didn't remember this until actually signing off some of the paperwork for our recent GO revenue bond. But the fact that we borrowed GO for this municipal center, we'd have to relook at if we were to lease the space above us to a for profit, a non government agency. Um, that I think Jamie did email Greg at Ellers, but even in the safety building, we have borrowed funds on that building right now. I don't know. We'd have to be very careful leasing any portion for a business that's for profit. That's good, good, good to know. Thank so you. I just remembered yeah. we reached out to Greg, but mm -hmm. that's one of the little check marks that I sign off on is that we are not using any part of the building or leasing anything for profit. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. We'll have to remember that if we go forward to try to lease it, we've got to fit into the one that's really only going to get some money out of it. Mm -hmm. I would call them with the church. What? Yeah. So there's a church. What? Yeah. So she'll close on something. Teasing. All right. Uh, so any questions? Just uh, fire any mess, Chief. Anything Is there a report in there? Yeah. I don't have anything to add. Unless okay. Any questions? Any questions? Park and Rack. I have a report in the packet. Mm -hmm. If you have questions regarding the report, otherwise, I do have to put them on the agenda. But okay. Uh, time to okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, let's see. In your report, you have uh, something about food waste. For the third or fourth time, that's come up. Board has said no, but we're going to. We're going to go for a grant anyway. That's because I saw a board. I mean, because I just remembered the board said no. We're talking about food waste here on our site, right here. If the food waste can be anywhere but here, I would actually support it. But how do you get staff to do it? So, but I, I just very distinctly remember the last time we talked about it, we said no. But we're moving ahead anyway because I guess we'd have to look at the minutes. It wasn't about it, it wasn't about I, the money. We didn't say no because of the money. We said no because of the food waste. And uh, we got enough trouble with our garbage. That it, is it correct or not correct? So now we're gonna have people coming here with uh, milk containers, coffee cans, full food waste, and dumping it into a slot bucket. And uh, I, I think that's a lot to ask. But but I was just surprised. I don't always read these, but when I read that, I was really surprised that that's been brought up several times and now because we're going to go for a grant because it might have been a money issue i don't think it's a money issue at all and uh, i think you need to really really take a good close look at what we're talking about with food waste and how sloppy that is if you think of the grease that comes out of uh, restaurants and how that gets disposed with the, the big meat fat companies that have to suck that grease out and the spillage that's all around in some of these places, it's quite amazing. And it's extremely hard to clean. Um, and then compost, I, is that in that same report or somewhere else? Is compost going to be on this site? Or we're going to be composting on this site? Or is composting going to be all the yards? What? The what? Compost with the food. Oh, so those are interchangeable, the same thing? Okay. But that'll happen here. Somewhere on this property, we're going to be doing compost and food waste. I, I believe, I mean, Valerie will give an update, but I believe they're looking at multiple locations throughout the metro area. Mm -hmm. I, I just, 
you know, so we, we, we contract with the garbage, but we don't handle the garbage. And I think th this is my one opinion. Uh, it could easily be a one six, but uh, I, I think this would be the same thing. This is really, really messy stuff. And it's all for profit with uh, suits, right? Suits, Jensen? There's two companies. Okay. And I thought some other municipalities wanted to partner on it too. Yeah, there's a bunch of different things. So it's, a, it's a huge feel good thing to do. I, but I, mean, I, I don't know if we built this building to have compost and food. Um, okay, so that's all I had on yours uh, compost pilot program where located. So, yes. Uh, any more for uh, Jen? No? Uh, please. I uh, got a Mountain Bay Metro quarterly report, April 1st, 2024, July 2020, and Mountain Bay Metro monthly report. So I'm going to report first. So, uh, mm -hmm. We used to always do a quarterly report. Mm -hmm. when we were so I try to get it back up and running. Mm -hmm. So I think it's real important to go through there because you get to see the training that the officers go through, uh, the calls for service for a quarter instead of just monthly reports. And it talks about other things that are happening within the police department. So the goal is to do a quarterly report and then a year-end report on top of it. So if you go to page seven on that report and look at the traffic citations, we're at 784, and everybody thinks that we write uh, pile of tickets and we don't ever give any warnings, but we get 588 warnings, so we're just about uh, 55 or 60 percent on the citations. 28 OWIs. We had 6,000 calls for a quarter. So I just think it's a good update for people to read and see what's happening in the police department. Play a little newsletter. So that's one thing. Uh, then we have our monthly report. So for the village of Weston, we took 1,129 calls. Uh, we had 33 crashes and 89 warnings and uh, 114 total citations for the month. So Citation numbers are starting to come back a little bit, and at least our computer is up and running where we can get all of our accurate information. So I'm happy about that. A couple other things. Um, we've only been together for 138 days. It seems like it's been a year. Uh, we've lived together out of the same building for 153 days. So if you look at all the things that have happened in that short time, it's pretty amazing that that got accomplished. So. In addition to that, we had our first commercial ball today on Channel 9. Commercial? Um, yes, for the Halloween party. Uh, so there's a commercial out there that uh, was with the law firm uh, that did it for us, they paid for it. So it's in conjunction with Brad. So it's pretty cool. That's kind of neat. So you see the commercial. Yeah. So the so one not political commercial. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. With, the dog got a costume on, but Sully, he's in there, and he's really not happy about his costume. But okay. He looks good. So. Cool. Yeah, any questions? And I think that's the biggest part. Anybody ever has any questions, just ask. Okay. Transparency okay. is all there. And uh, if you don't think I'm going to like the question, just ask him. We're good. We'll be good. But you guys need answers on things. So we're here for that. So. The Trucker Street party will be at the middle school. Correct. And uh, I took it. Myself to hand that flyer or email the flyer to all the elementary schools. And remember, it's free, so yep. whoever comes, it's all free, so that's the greatest part of all of it. So, same middle school is the, the one next to the elementary school. That's where all the yeah. soccer fields are. Yeah. Okay. We wanted it on the new football field, but they didn't really want the candy on the field. Yeah. But anyway, if there's ever a question, just ask it, email it, or ask somebody to ask me whatever. So. I just want you guys to have all the answers. So. You have to come dressed up. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, Steve wants me to ask that question. Sir. No. You can go either way. Steve. I'm pretty scary. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, now your question is, you know, um, it's, it's, it's whatever that Friday is. I think it's the 18th. Oh, 18th? Yeah. Oh, Five to eight. eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what we did, we had a goal of 6,500. We met that goal, so now we just have to spend more money and make it bigger. So, wow. so it'll be cool. Okay. And you got all the 6,500 raised, right? Go ahead. That's cool. All donations. Good. 
public works, Michael. We had uh, some of the paving projects uh, get wrapped up. Uh, the roundabout is uh, back open. The boat hasn't died. It never was open. It was open the entire time. Yeah. With a flag man or a woman. That was the. And, and you, are we going to get the street sweeper through there or is Ross Child Park our right now? No. Oh, okay. Street sweeper there. But it, yeah, that's, that's okay. Yeah. We weren't real happy with what, not being told they can never close it. But hey, wait to me every time I went through it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it looks like I got a cop car, so maybe it's open. I doubt it. But they were extremely friendly to me, so I went through it a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. People really went through the slow because they were right next to me. Yeah. Michael gave all of them a picture of you, so they had no idea. I doubt that. Yeah, so be on the for this guy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, asphalt overlays got finished up last week. Yeah. The business park paving is done. So um, some of those are wrapping up, and other projects are still. Just getting started. Uh, what's striking, your name? Striking Ross Avenue. Yep, the uh, meeting with Portage County Highway Department is planned since Friday. So uh, that's that the one that Dan thought so highly of. So and, the, and when they started the striping, just to remember, they spilled for about thirty feet. So <clears throat> follow up. So, okay. I know yeah. there's a couple of arrows down and a couple of bikes down right now, but not all of them. Yeah. So, so. we. We do those, the special markings yep. in house. Okay. We have the stencils, uh, the long line painting is what we. What are we thinking on that? The long line painting. So it would be this week, um, okay. either this Friday or next Friday. Um, they, Portage County does it on Fridays because uh, Monday through Thursday they're doing work for themselves. And then they can contract themselves out on Fridays. Okay. And they are, uh, I guess, uh, much more affordable than, uh, I guess, a private contract. Yep. So, they're not charging us for profit, they're charging us. Just to Camp Phillips or all the way to it, it, They're just really white. And you know, yeah. Schofield Avenue, you can hardly see these. Yeah, so Schofield Ave from uh, heading east of Birch Street to Ryan, uh, we'll be redoing the lines. Ross Avenue here, uh, what got sprayed in the mid but that side was okay. Uh, and then they're also doing some work for the town on Ross Avenue extended. Well, as long as they're here, but yeah. Uh, any more for other works? Uh, technology, um, anything, any questions on technology? I know Nate's not here. Nate is online. Oh, yes? Okay. Yep, yep I'm online. Um, I had a report in the packet if you have any questions. We're looking for on speakers. Do we have an ETA on that? Uh, yeah, I, I had that in the packet. The, uh, the Biamp, the company that runs the sound processing unit, is uh, sending out a new one. They did send out a, a new one uh, to Camera Corner Connecting Point. They were bench testing that last week. Um, they were hopeful to be back later this week or early next week. Jim? Uh, you mentioned in your report that uh, mid July date for Long Bay Metro telephone system install. Yeah, I talked to uh, Chief Hunt about it last week. They met with, they, they had some cable runs that had to be done. Um, they had gotten quotes for that, and I guess, Chief, if you want to chime in where you guys ended up with on that last Thursday, I think it was. We have a meeting coming up here. I had to meet with City County mm -hmm. ID because they wanted to take some of the fibers out of the line so they could run it through the phone for our fiber optic. And so that we're not pulling all the dust out of the wall to rewire the whole building. Otherwise, they're going to put it on hold until we get potential new building and just hold that contract so that. Uh, Weston's not being charged, and we're not being charged, so it's kind of convoluted because we basically want to rewire the whole building. Okay. And then the municipal court, can we terminate that line, though? Um, that's the non-emergency line. Go ahead. Go ahead. Municipal Nate. court, that was the, the, the question? Yes. yes. That's it. I guess, reasons. go ahead. Go ahead, Chief. Uh, and you can answer more than I can, but that's a three, total three number, three, 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 and that's our main line to the PD right now because we wanted something ambiguous to one of the PDs, and so we have to keep the number. But I don't know how they're running that. So it's still build as villagers. It's still build as municipal for help. And it it will be until that that totally goes over to them, but. That's what Chief is saying with this conversation that we just had with TDS, that bill will end for us and they will either 
defer service, but they'll take over those phone numbers and TDS will have to work that out with their provider if those numbers are totally ported over. But we TDS has come to an agreement about either delaying that agreement or, or working out technology so we can discontinue that bill. So, um, and under technology, okay. So could someone, you know, Nate, Nate or someone could you look back when we partnered with TDS? What was the agreement with TDS? I know we gave them $250,000. Um, if, if they ever got the 60% of cable in our village, they would pay us back 50 grand for the next five years, you know, but did we get free service? Did we, I mean, wasn't it something that the village got? I think it might be Google to look at that contract. You know? I've, I've looked at it. Uh, it was 200,000. Um, we did get, uh, some discounts on a lot of the hardware, um, as it, they were a penny essentially, um, for the, for all the phones and the hardware. So that is as part of that contract, but I have reminded them, um, as we've gone through this, uh, that we did do that, uh, the $200,000, um, as, and so Josh, we originally met with in the beginning, he's been involved. Um, we're trying to work through it, uh, as best we can. I think it, I think we're heading in a good direction. Well, we, we have to kind of, you know, hear their numbers if they're ever at 60%, because how would we ever know? Right, yeah, I can check with Josh to see where their numbers are at. I mean, I don't know. I mean, sometimes you gotta call them before you end their service to get a better deal for the next few years. Maybe yeah, I agree, yep. Okay. Anybody else? I'm sorry. Nate, what's the timeline on getting this other TV in the boardroom fixed? Uh, they're gonna, uh, when they're here end of this week or next week, they're going to look at that as well. Okay. okay. Thank you. Anything else for Nate? Nope. All right. Thank you, Nate. Thanks. Uh, motion to acknowledge uh, 17 through 25. So moved. By Cronin. So I'll second the motion to acknowledge 17 through 25. Second. Second by Pitts and all. Uh, any more further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carry work product terms metals. Acknowledge August building permits. Acknowledge August court enforcement report. Acknowledge August budget status. Both acknowledge. All three or one? All three. Uh, motion to acknowledge 26, 27, and 28 by Zagami. Second. Second by Cronin. Anything on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Two. So carry consent agenda. Motion to approve all three as presented. Okay, you can have a few more here. Uh, motion by Pinsonal to approve vouchers as presented. Second. Second by Wyland. Uh, any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Ordinances, none. Resolutions, 32. Resolution number 2024-018. Resolution to amend the village fee schedule. Move to approve. Mo motion to approve uh, by Sagami. I'll second it to get it on the floor. Second by Cronin. Uh, on the discussion. Yeah, we talked about this at length in uh, yeah. finance. There were some. I, I, you know, and I and I I talked enough during that meeting, and I, sometimes that's why I don't come. But um, the the one on the trustees, the special meetings, that's asked for either you know by a bar owner or a business, and at two hundred fifty dollars. You know, the one the one on the license. Just really gets me because boy, I'll tell you, when I was in a grocery store, you got those licenses done, and by God, you had them done immediately because you can't operate. It honestly, heaven, if they last right to the end, close her up. Not our problem. I'm sorry. I mean, that's your, that's your job. You have to have a license to, to operate. It's just unbelievable. It's like working with children, and and they want to call me out on that. That's fine, but you got to be kidding me. So, or I understand. I was I listened to that to part of that meeting, I know who Shang had asked what our actual cost is. And there was some conversation that, well, it doesn't cost anything more for, for the trustees to come in. It doesn't cost more for the staff. Well, I disagree with that because it costs me time that away from my family. Sure. And I, I understand that I'm elected, I'm supposed to be here, but when you guys send notices out months in advance and someone doesn't get it in to the last second, I'm sorry, that's not our problem. And if, and if you guys are here, you comp time from your day, correct? For these meetings, that's lost productivity. So that needs to be built to whoever is creating that and problem. And they do get 
plenty of notice. Yeah, what, what is the other reason that we would have to have a board meeting? Well, just trustee board meeting. Because, or planning would be the other one, right? So sometimes, sometimes in summer. So sometimes if we have it, we try to work with people to make a day on the night commission schedule. Right. Yep. But there's some times where we'll have to have a special plan commission board meeting um, for a project like a regional committee or something like that. But we really kind of, it's pretty it, it's, it's pretty been good. really rare. It used yeah. to be more often. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah. That the license one just caught me so off guard, and I just I couldn't believe it. And uh, uh, it, and, and yeah, you're right. We don't get paid, but but I, I guess the other question is what's what's going to have teeth? And so right now it's zero. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, Some to force their hand. Two fifty will drive a bar owner nuts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely crazy. It will. And uh, but we're not going to have that meeting until they pay it up front. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm fine. Two fifty will be up there. You know, if you go to 500, it's going to be the same as 250. It doesn't matter. 250, that's huge. That's a lot of liquor. Okay. I'm done on this. So there Sorry. Were, yeah, so there were recommendations that the finance be in charge to revisit some of this stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Because this is, this is a defect in 2025. Right. I don't think we have to physically act on this tonight, even though it's more. Oh, yeah, I, the, I, I thought it would work. I had a lot of the discussion well, I thought was good, but race is good. Yeah. Can we share these on the agenda? Yeah, I'll take care. Yep. Yep. Can we review it after the election? I hate to be that guy, but I mean, there could be some room. What the fee schedule for next year? Yeah, after what election? After the election, you know, the November election. Why? I, I mean, just see how things go. I mean, the economy is pretty up in the air right now. I mean, people are getting laid off from their jobs. I mean, maybe we should wait and see how things shake out before we take a harder look at this. I don't know, just a thought. Well, there is a motion on the floor. Yeah, there, oh, yeah, there is a motion on the floor. So the motion was to approve it as presented. Yes, yes, presented. yes. So why don't we just run that through? So uh, without any more discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. You said aye. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, motion carries. So we, what? Okay. So we're approving it just as it is. Yes, just as it is. Yep. Yeah. Resol uh, 33, resolution 2024. Dash zero one nine amendment number one to the relocation order and termination of necessity for Weston Avenue. Wait, termination of necessity for Weston Avenue Road Project CRX to bond chemistry. Move to approve. Move to approve by Zagami, second by Pinsonal on the discussion. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Unfinished business, 34, discussion and or action, ordinance 24-009, an ordinance amending sections 50.102, property maintenance code 50.103, loud, disturbing, noises, prohibited, and 50.104, chronic nuisances, nuisance premises. What's your pleasure? Approve ordinance 24-009, any presents in effect. Uh, motion uh, to approve by Pimsicle. Second by, Second by Wyland on the discussion. Question. Question. What happened to that noise complaint we had today? With Old Castle Glass? Right. Okay. Is that not a clip? It went to clips. Okay. Because I'm I'm hearing it more and more and more. Um, but with you know, so now the air is on, so I guess it's when the windows are open. It's you name it, it's going on. It's going on at 10 30, 11 o'clock at night. And I'm telling you, if I can hear that blowing and whistling and crazy, that's the craziest noise I've ever heard. You must be able to hear it. You're across the river. You hear it, right? Well, or is your house closed up? We've got all these houses in front of us. I've got two, I got two employees that live right there, and they basically got used to it for over 20 years. But they do say it's more often than not. It's no, happening more, it's happening during the morning, afternoon, and at night. But the one at night at 10 30, quarter 11, they, they've got to know that they're doing that noise. There is no way in hell, unless they're all inside and they blow that steam up, whatever that is, I have no clue what it is. So that, yeah, I'm telling you, it's loud. And that's just it. So I've had some of the employees try to record it. I, I know we've had inspectors over there, I know we've had uh, officers over there. 
Um, I actually feel like, except that scared the hell out of them before we found her in my pajamas, to go down there and be there in five minutes and say, hey, hey, come on, what's going on here? What, what do you guys have to do with this So that's your question. Well, nothing happened. I know. I know it's nothing's happened. Out. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that was scary. Everybody have to kind of lost about four feet in my side. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of my neighbors that lives a block away to start actually putting it in because he works at home now. And uh, then we can go have another meeting with him and say, hey, what happens at this time, this time, this time, and this time? What's what are you releasing that's causing all that noise? It's it's incredible. So. Anyway, okay. So um, where are we? We are on uh, 34. So we have a motion and a second. Any more in discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. New business, 35. Discussion in. Uh, oh, yes, it's in black. That's why I got screwed up. So um, I would like to make an appointment to our tourism commission. And I, I very much apologize for Kim. What's your last name? Hold on, I have it on the top of my email. Oh, I could have done yeah. Um, It's Frederick. Oh, yes, Kim Frederick. And she is, the, I believe, the marketing manager with uh, the Holiday Inn yes. um, up there. So we're going to move back to the Holiday Inn, which John was from there also. But she is extremely excited. And um, I, if you saw that tonight, she reached out back to us from your email that she'll come in and, you know, and talk to us and get sworn in, I think, right? Yeah, so we'll have her on time for our next tourism meeting, and that's that's outstanding that we got someone so quickly willing. Who was it, Jody or Jamie? Jody reached Jody. out to all the hoteliers. Oh, okay, good, and she responded pretty quick, so that's awesome. So uh, um, I would need a, a, a motion and a second to approve uh, Kim Frederick from the Holiday Inn as our new hotelier on our tourism. Commission. I'll, I'll make a motion to appoint Kim Frederick as the to the tourism commission. Uh, motion by Cronin. Second by Zagami. Uh, any more in the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. So we still have an opening on uh, HR and uh, finance. I, I got other But do we have uh, any uh, applications? No. Put that on our little Wednesday. We will. I just okay. wanted to average, I wanted the focus to be the trustee position first. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, is there something you want on that? Draft on the agendas? It's in black, and I just didn't know. Is yeah. that a placeholder or is that something to be discussed? That was a request by Trustee okay. Pinsel. Yeah, I did ask. So, a discussion and interaction on release date of draft agendas for board committees and commissions. So, sometimes we get a draft agenda, sometimes we don't. Sometimes it's an hour before the agenda lands, and sometimes it's not at all. Um, just didn't know if the board had any feelings um, on that. My personal feeling is I like the draft agenda. Um, it's good to see what's there, and if it's there the day before, if it's there on Tuesday, and the, the, the agenda launches Wednesday, if we're missing X, Y, Z, we can be done there without having to amend the agenda or amend the packet. So when the agenda goes out, uh, so should we get this on the board on upgrade? Discussion and interaction. So how about we're we don't really have? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, I, I'm fine if we don't. That's great. So go ahead, Steve. I guess are you are you no, so like question. the committees that I'm on, yeah. I, I get I get the email with the draft agenda. I don't know if it goes out to every other no. official at the village. Is that correct? Jen? Is that go out, is that just between you and me? It is because I used to get it and I'm fine that it goes between you two. Yeah. And I, I believe I get the draft to the board. Does everybody get everybody the draft? Gets the draft, oh, draft, draft okay. For the board, it's different, but for all the committees, I, I just I don't see a reason for it to be any more than the department head and whoever is the chair, the chair of that committee. Yeah. It's a draft. Okay. So you don't think the rest of the people on the committee, like the board, should it only go to the president then, or should it go? To I, all does the it go to the no, all the committee members? They just no. said it goes there, all the trustees, right? Yeah. Just for the board. For the board. Yeah, yeah, just for the board. Yeah. But for planning, yes. But for other, yeah, but. Yeah, well, why yeah. don't we decide? So why don't we decide that the agenda it really belongs to the chair? Well, why don't we go one more out and go to the vice chair? So the chair and the vice get the agenda, the draft, the draft. I'm sorry, and then you know maybe there should be some kind of acknowledgement. Um, but I think it should be the same day because I have no issues at all. I just I always write just put the goal or or 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
us than the chair and vice chair. I'm good. And you second? No, I think Jamie did. Uh, any more discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. 37. Let's go. Question. I probably missed the opportunity. No, we can go back. Public comments was a five minutes <laughs> for, for 35. Public Works Committee is currently missing a trustee. So I don't know if we're just leaving that vacant until a new trustee is appointed or. Have you registered your vacancy to the administrator? Mm -hmm. Okay, and she'll get it in line. Okay. So we're going to get you uh, right there with finance, right? You don't really, you're not missing <laughs> yeah. a citizen well, We're not missing a citizen member. member. We're just missing a trustee. Oh. Uh, yes, we asked it. Do you remember I yes, emailed yeah. and you uh, said yeah. we were going to talk about that too. Yeah. You know what? We can, can we handle that right now? I can go back up to 35. And does anybody here want to volunteer? Or who volunteer? Who sits on there right now? Uh, who's Shane? Shane. Okay. okay. I hope I'm here. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would draw a line. You're on your own. <laughs> you, no. No. you and I, I think. Ship sailed. No. 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 <laughs> on the road. Next caller. That was horrible. Uh, so I nominate uh, Jim Pensimo as vice chair of uh, public works. I'm going to be vice chair? Yeah, you're going to be vice chair. So I'll make a motion chair. to appoint uh, Jim Pinsmoke by Cronin, and public and second by Weiland. That's easily the fastest motion and second I've ever heard. Uh, hearing no discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Okay, thank you, Jim. That's awesome. Nice to you. 37, thank you, Michael, for bringing that up. Uh, yeah. And also the HR is a citizen member. Right? It's a citizen okay. member. Discussion and interaction on accounts receivable write-offs. Just what, $747 all together? Yeah, um, just to point out the top half is going to the tax roll and the bottom half are um yeah. our, our official yep. rights. Okay. I move to approve the accounts receivable right off as presented. By Pinsonal, second by second. By Zagami. Any on the discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Thirty-eight. Discussion in or action on appointments of additional election officials. So I see seven. How do you do seven? Three uh GOP and three Dems and then one independent? These are all unaffiliated. What does that mean? They have not signed up for a party, so they're just unaffiliated. They did not, they're not on a party list. Are you really? Yes. Seriously? Yes. And she's not signed up. I'm she is. She's working in November. If you're one of the seven? No, she's already on. Yeah. Well, okay. Am I one of the seven? No. Okay, so you need you need someone that's going to go walk around and just watch people. Well, going. so I had. Um, uh, How many do you have so far? Working for November, I have 21. Oh, you have 20 over shoulders? Well, some of the, the seven that would come on, they would be working uh, shifts, oh. like half days. Sure, sure. So I, I guess my, it's the board's discretion whether or not they want to appoint them. But my thought process is to keep everything moving. So I would like uh, people at the lines to help people, you know, that person's open, that person's open. So when they're sitting there looking on their phone and somebody's like, I'm free, I'm free. You know, we have somebody that's kind of keeping the lines moving. Cause I know that the parking is, is gonna be an issue. Mm -hmm. We have a high turnout expected. Mm -hmm. So I just wanna have enough people working to keep the lines moving and also it's November, it's cold and flu season. Yep. I have the 21 I have, I have nobody else to replace them. So then if somebody's ill, I'm gonna to have to start cutting. I move to um, approve the okay. additional appointments yeah, of we'll seven do. election inspectors for the November well, 5th general election. Second, 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 they come in and they can observe. Anybody can do that. So that's not an election inspector or election. And you're not scheduled? I can just walk in and start observing. You can just walk in and no. watch. And you have to check in with the chief inspector, wear a name tag, show your driver's license, um, put your name on a list. Can but I in, on? Pardon me? Can I have buttons on? Not in the no, polling, please. You're not supposed to election here. Button, but the buttons on your shirt are exact. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we have a motion and a second. And uh, hearing no more discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 39, discussion and or action update on Yellow Banks Park 
improvements. So I asked for this from that. Um, I had several people contact me on Yellow Pink's disc golf course, and I sent a, an email to, I believe it landed at Parks. Uh, they talked about it time Parks, but just for some clarification on some stuff and whose role is what. Um, there was some of this in, in uh, Sean's report, but I have some questions on some of that stuff. So they talked about it before as a whole. What, like, what's one issue? Um, like there's a, maybe it's falling out, it sounds like some of the trees were cut, but there was like a huge tree falling in the middle of the oh, actual okay. course. Okay. Um, that had been there for a period of time. Okay. Um, and I get it, we, some of the course roads are that it's rustic or in the woods or something. Mm -hmm. um, but if you got to climb a tree in order to create a frisbee, that mm -hmm. maybe isn't part of the goal. Um, there the, the little T box post things that say, hey, this is goal seven, and it's, I don't know, 75 yards or meters or however we do it. And it should be 16 crosses. Um, those are all down or missing or illegible. Uh, so it's just in a, a state of disrepair. So, okay, so it's moving on yellow banks, it's for this course, right? This is now it's called yellow banks. Oh, I, I didn't know that course. It is? Yeah. Yellow banks. What's on both sides? Just on the south side of the river. Okay. The disco. Yeah, of course, course is located at yellow okay. banks. And I think ultimately, Jim just wanted to make sure that we were given updates on where things stood. Mm -hmm. If things were being accomplished, um, and just making sure it got in front of the park committee as yeah. far as, you know, yeah. and I don't want to speak for them, yeah. um, but just make sure that we're addressing the items that were brought up, right. and then if they're getting taken care of, when they're getting taken care of, who's taking care of them, um, and I could update you on some of the progress that actually has been made since that meeting, um, because some of that has been completed. And we had a club goal up there last year, right? And do some work so, there. yeah, so last, or actually this year in February, Los Angeles Golf Enthusiasts came to the, or last year to the, in front of the committee to present a proposal where we would share responsibilities for maintaining the course right. because it's such a difficult site to maintain because right. you can't just go in there and go. You know, there's wetlands, there's tons of thorny brush, it's uneven, so it's difficult to maintain. Um, so a lot of the stuff they do, they, as a club, have a brusher, trimmers, chainsaws, and they have the forces to come in there and do that. They did do a work day this past week. Um, they actually posted and sent me a message about the tree down on hole number five, which you wouldn't know it's hole number five, but the one along the river where that tree was laying there. That was new to them. So I don't know how long it was down when you were down there, but it looked like it was down forever. It's just that dead decaying tree. Um, but there was also one on hole eight that they notified me about on Sunday, which we practice today. Um, so they have been down there, done a bunch of work, shared updates with me, and then as far as just making sure we're in contact on who's doing what at this point, just making sure. But ultimately, it is Village Park, so I can't blame them for not getting stuff done that they had in their proposal. Yeah. We have to maintain. Okay. So. So it's our role then to clarify to maintain that part. They assist us with it. Okay. They, they've ultimately probably been the driving force and done most of the work down there. So, um, and so moving forward, do we have a plan then to? Well, just like I said, just making sure that we're following up on some of the items you brought up and then just making sure that, that the committee and board is aware of what's taking place down there. And what's getting completed. Um, the door locks on the the restroom facilities at that part. Yeah, we're adjacent to that part. Um, were they on the original building plans? Did the building plans show a door lock? Uh, they show door locks. Unfortunately, it's the type of door lock where you can lock it, leave, and the next person can get it. Was the building built to the plan that was approved? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are we with getting locks? So, right, so we, we knew that that lock, that lock probably put on, the doors were put on six months ago or something, right? So those locks were still there. In six months, we haven't been able to source a lock that 
what do we have? We can, own? but we had multiple other items that need to be taken care of, which I did broach at the park committee discussion about it. If you want me to bring them up, I also put it in my report. Um, as far as you know, some of the items that weren't built to a park restroom. And we talked about it at the committee level. Should they have built it or should it have been done differently? Um, you know, unsecured wiring and hoses underneath the, the uh, uh, sink, uh, exposed heater, furnace controls in this restroom that anybody can just crank the heat up or down in the each each side. Um, well, initially, initially, these bathrooms were staff only. And then after, yes, they were, they were staff only. And then it went open to the public. Yeah, well, these are additional, right? Uh, oh, are we talking about that, that well pump house? Yeah. Yeah, that was staff only. In the very beginning talks, it was staff only. Because my question was, are you kidding me? We're going to have a new building right down the street. They can't just drive down there to do their duty. And then all of a sudden, it, a new boat came out and it went to public. And I went, oh my God, here we go. Now it's public. Initially, and, and, yes. And I think it, that's it, why initially it was a yeah. request to have a restroom inside for staff when they were there. Mm -hmm. And then it went to, if there would, you know, there was interest in providing restrooms, small shelter area for the disabled area. But Yellow Banks has port pots. Port pots. Yeah. Well, we also have a port pot on this side of the river. And well, we have, that, that's going to go away when that one opens up. Yeah, yeah. But and that's the thing. We have, we decided to go porta potties on the park side, but on this side, we went full board. Correct. Okay. Um, so, what does it take to get the interior of this building? I, clearly, it was designed. It was it was built as designed, right? So you can't fault the contractor for building it as designed. They built what was here. Um, there's thoughts in here that there's no camera equipment. Was there camera equipment on the design? No. So it's, again, it's not the contractor's fault. But to be fair, we didn't design any camera equipment or TVs or any of that. We didn't put any down. Can I just ask a question why all of this isn't at parks? Why is all of this here in, in, at board? Why, why, why isn't all this at parks? I believe it was at parks. Okay, why it wasn't it brought back to parks? Why is it here? Well, I mean, we, we have a litany of lists here that they're bringing up. I, I just, I, if you just, you know, let me know why all of this is here and it didn't go back to parks. Uh, I'm not sure. My goal is to get, we yeah. spent, I don't know, $120,000 or whatever yeah. it was additional yeah. on that building, make it so we have a shelter and bathrooms. Yep. May yep. was the substantial completion date for that project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Well, we, got, we got an ABC restaurant or Wausau, uh, Wausau Cafe going back to planning, you know, and it did, you know, for different things. But I, I just don't understand why we're running all this right now through board when we have a committee meeting that does this. And you're, you're kind of, it's kind of like taking wages away from the entire and taking away responsibility from the parks to do this. I don't know. Unless you felt it was done wrong by parks. I just don't understand why we would wait a whole other day to come to here versus just going back to parks. I don't think there was any action taken by parks. No, so why the, so the, why so would go back the, to the two items, the two items that were requested by the trustee that are on the agenda, ultimately I thought was so you could refer them to parks because they weren't on the parks yet. Okay. Not necessarily that we would fully discuss everything that was discussed because they weren't necessarily on the agenda as parts. So but at least to so at the end of this we're gonna be approving something that should have no, there's there's parts. nothing there for approval. There isn't no. discussion in our action update on Bill Banks parks improvements. No but if you look at the RC there's nothing there's no okay can um, we to move approval send or anything. Back to this. Sure. And in the meantime can we maybe look at the locks in the box. So how many door locks do you have? We, we have two. There's a guy right after right right We have replaced the locks for There's a locks Smith Grand, Grand Avenue that does incredible work, commercial, public, everything. And he will he will he won't, he won't do it. Why? Box with shop norm? Yeah. He won't do it. He's retired. He's retired. Well, that's, that's different because he would have if he wasn't retired. I, yeah. I can ask yep. you. Yep. Yep. He's, he's making a motion. I know. I have to Park committee. Park committee. Success. We're going to go back to park. I'll second. Second by Conan. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So period. Let's
move on to 40. A discussion and or action update on Kennedy Park renovation marketing campaign. That should be the same thing. Um, okay, I would agree. Yeah, this should, this should back to the park committee. Okay. Uh, uh, motion, motion by Kitsugami, second by. I'll second it. Second by Cronin. All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Discussion. Yep, go ahead, discussion. Okay, perfect. Um, so the campaign kicked off yesterday. What have we done with the campaign this far? It did not kick off yesterday. Why not? Uh, because the project is behind us, stated in my report and in the RFC. We acknowledge that at the park committee meeting that we were behind in the process. And I told the committee that night that we were definitely behind on it. Um, as there's been some communication the last two weeks, um, we know that this it's more important to get everything done correctly with all the necessary details. It is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And so if we are behind in the process, we still want to make sure that everything's done correct. You don't want to roll something else that's not necessarily done. And I understand there's obviously a lot of information shared regarding it, but also one of the items that came up and I put it in, in the RFC was that one of the big questions was defining the roles of who was responsible for certain titles. You know, we have the Friends of Kennedy group, we have the committee, we have the board. So who's responsible for approval of all these items? You know, we know that the Friends group and the Village and the marketing firm are partnering together, but should it go through all those channels to get approved? Because it is a different it is different than what we've typically done with anything else. So we have a bunch of groups involved in that fundraising group. Um, and based on what came out of the committee and board was that we would allow this group to work with the marketing firm to get these items prepared. But we also have people on the committee and board that would like to see the items and make sure they get approved. So it's really, I think, needs to go back. So we define those roles and who should be ultimately responsible. If it's me, if it's the committee, if it's the board, and who wants to all see these items. We understand that some of the items the group was working on with the marketing firm, we didn't see till the August Park Committee meeting. But they had seen it weeks prior and had been looking at it and providing feedback. No different than some of the items that I provided last week or two weeks ago, right before the meeting or in an email prior the week we, you know, the week prior, not in the packet, um, that they were working on, but nobody within the committee had seen. So just making sure that Bill is more involved and maybe board wants to see all these materials that I'm sure. Okay. So to clarify, there is no updated timeline, right? There is no updated timeline. There's no memorandum of understanding. There is no clear roles defined by any of the parties on who's fundraising, who's dispersing funds, what these funds are used for, what the full plan is, what any of this stuff looks like. Well, um, some of some of those items have been clarified. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, we did do, do an agreement with the community foundation, the friends group did. So those those time those things have been some of those things have been established, like who's doing fundraising, but. This marketing campaign is literally, as we're they're developing the materials, the videos, the posters, who needs to approve all that? So the $25,000 that the Board of Trustees approved to expend for that, and none of the timeline has been met. What does that contract look like? Do we get our money back because we didn't do it? And we, and we haven't paid the entire contract. Have we paid anything? Yes. Did we get what we paid for? Uh, we paid. We paid for the timeline that was presented. Did we get the entire timeline? Did the, the deliverables happen? No, no. right? No. Okay. So we did not get what we paid for. But they're also waiting for some items that we need to buy. So like the cost estimate for the fields and stuff that they get put in the fundraising stuff. So costs for a scoreboard, costs for a dugout. So if you're doing the naming rights, costs for the field. Yes, we have this, we have a cost estimate that was provided as part of the master plan. 
but actual costs we will not know until that project is bid, which is going to be next month. So there's some items there that are undetermined. You hate to say, well, you need to provide 700,000 when it could be 500,000. And G. Morty did video at the tournaments. Yep, in the video at the skate park, softball and baseball. So they've done the, some of the work. It's just, you know, who ultimately, who approves all of that work? So yes, there's a schedule for deliverables that was put together, but like I said, ultimately, if it's not done by the 15th of September, there was no nothing in the contract that penalized it for getting it done two weeks later. So I, I, I have a motion. What, what what are you asking for to do? Add, ask all of those. I think the motion was answers. The motion, motion was to refer it to the park committee. For their discussion and their recommendation yeah. to the board. Very well. So we have a motion and a second. We on that, that. and we had we had this discussion. Hearing no more discussion, all those in favor favor of referring back to the parks, say aye. Aye. Opposed. So carried. Uh, let's see, forty-one. Uh, Mr. 41. President, I'm going to recuse myself from this yep. item. Okay. Discussion and or action. Okay. I see it. Um, discussion and interaction with the Aquatic Center concession stand agreement. Is it, is it, is it, yeah. A two years lease with the Steve and Genesis corner. Uh, motion by Zagami. Well, second, yeah. second by Jim. And the discussion. Yes. Okay. Um, does this contract have to go forbid by statute? No. No. Okay. Um, and then the only other. Concern that I had was the Steve's name or should Steve's name be removed from the lease because of the elected official? Or is that an issue with just Janessa's name on it? So so he was involved since 15 or 17, I think nine years running, and he got elected what two four two terms ago. I don't know. You, is this like being the president and you can't work on your finances? I, I, I don't know. I just oh, I, I don't know if that presents a like a legal or a financial. Can I make this comment? Yeah, quite please. Just as a as the, the, the contract. contract. I recuse, but I'm I'm the contracted individual here. Yeah. So yeah. to me, it doesn't matter because the finances are the same. Correct. I mean, both of our names are on the finances, so it does not it does not matter. I've made it clear to everybody what we do. Everybody knows. Right. So, My intent I mean, was just so there's not a. Misinterpretation by someone that's not familiar with your arrangement yeah. that when the original lease was there, you may not have been an elected official, but now you are, and so that you got preferential treatment to this lease because you're an elected official. Recuses himself. I understand that. Yeah. Okay. So Gary Garner recuses himself, and Travis Huffman uh, recuses himself. Anybody that does business can recuse himself okay. when it comes to a vote. I understand that. Okay. But if it doesn't financially change how the lease operates, I think it would be. In the best interest of the village of Weston to remove Steve's name from the contract and just make it reach NASA. I disagree. Why should why should he why should that company have to go to an attorney and get all this stuff done because of this? And he might he might not run for election. Who knows? I, I, I don't understand that. Why and why now? Why not four years ago? So I, I don't I don't see an issue at all. And, and, I mean, is there any more? No. I, okay. No. Okay, I mean, and if you want to, next time you have a chat with Man, you can talk to him. Right. But I, I can't imagine uh, anything like that. I just can't. So. I think, I think they should yeah. just clearly. Yeah, he, he, he in, in, in a public forum, he announced that he's accusing himself on this vote. And I, I believe it ever, if it ever came up, you did. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean? So the lease was previously done in 2021. It was okay. drafted by the attorney. Oh, okay. Oh, with. There you go. Oh, so well, there you go. Well, the man, I, I just wanted for your protection and the village's protection that you weren't given preferential treatment because your name was on the thing. Mm -hmm. Wisconsin is a Maryland property state, so now it's you know, in, 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 uh, talking about preferential treatment. So uh, I believe his wife runs the one in Rothschild also. And you know what she pays for Rothschild? I don't. Zero. So if anything, he's paying Steve's not getting preferential at all. He pays us 10% to do business there and pay for all the utilities and all the labor. And at Rothschild, he pays zero. Rothschild's just happy to have 
concessions from others. I'm just I'm just letting you know. I'm just I'm just letting you know. So okay. I want Steve and Janessa to continue there. Mm -hmm. I don't want them removed from the initiative. Like okay. I want them to continue doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Just from a legal standpoint, didn't know if that would be appropriate to remove one name from it. But if okay. the attorney approved it as it sits, send it. Okay. So any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Discussion and interaction on playground area improvements at Mockfield Park. I move to approve replacing the existing sand with engineered wood fiber, which has already been purchased, removing the existing railroad ties and replacing them with concrete curbing at a price not to exceed $8,000 at Mock Miller Park, not later than November 15, 2020. Motion by Pinsonal. Second. Second by White. Any more than discussion? I kind of feel like this should go back to parks as well because we did discuss this, but we didn't have any pictures. How, how it, it was approved then. Oh, oh, it, it was, was it was approved, yeah. We just didn't have we didn't have pictures showing the, the ties at that point, but they did approve it. So under it would then normally go to parks and come here. It did, just like it is. It did, yeah. But it is right now. That's what's happening. Yeah. Okay. So you okay? Yeah. Okay. I and, and no, no, no. And any no splinters from the wood fibers? Or do I throw sandals? All good. It's just just hey, we'll, we'll it's on my kids' school shoes. Yeah, anyway. And the uh, uh, railroad ties had pre assault, so those are good to know. Mm -hmm. that they're going to be they're, they're AC2 treated. AC2 treated. Well, yeah. they were pre assault. All, right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Uh, 43 discussion and interaction on expansion of ATV slash UTV operation on Village Roadways. Uh, and it has an A to discussion and interaction on ATV and UTV map. And B. Discussion and interaction on ordinance number 24-014, an ordinance amending section 82, article B, all terrain vehicle and utility terrain vehicle routes are in operation on highways of the municipal code, on highways of the municipal code for the village of Weston, Marathon County, Wisconsin. I move to approve the draft map as the new ATV UTV route map for the village of Weston and amend section 82, article 5, as presented in the draft ordinance. Uh, motion to approve uh, all of this by Corn. Or second? I will second it. Second by Jim uh, on the floor. So now on discussion? Yes, two things. One on the map, um, it was talked about in Real Life Public Safety, was not recommended by them, but I want the board to revisit this. Uh, I, I believe it was talked about between Fuller and Ryan Street. Um, there's a gap on Scope Lab that you cannot connect the west side to the east side uh, of the village of Weston. Um, you can't get across scope with that. You can't get to yourself to the driveway site. Um, and there was a recommendation to allow operation on scope of that, that portion. Um, I thought maybe we could allow it just for that one block between uh, Fuller and so, Tegan. So you're saying this one here, which is uh, what is that? That's Ryan. That's Ryan. Yeah, yeah, Ryan. Sorry. So Ryan obviously is an access point, and then you got to get over that old cusp. Yeah, so we're right talking about is, yes, right here. Yep. There's no yep. connection. I, I thought that was a. I don't think it was here, but I turned it on. It was um, not approved. Oh, it wasn't approved. Oh, All right. Do you, so, you have an issue with that? Yeah, I think the biggest part was the old cusp that the. That's, what is it? Fuller. Yeah. Uh, Fuller. Yeah. Uh, no, not uh, old cusp to Ryan. Ergens the Tegan. Yeah, right. Well, right. Oh, Tegan will speak you back and then you can come around the back by the solid right. yard. Okay. It's kind of a little deep yeah. trying to get across yeah. there. And I I don't have an issue. Uh, you know, I so far in Rothschild, we haven't had any issue with ATVs and on the roadways that were open in West and we haven't had any complaints or citations. I'm sure you get a complaint of moments here and there sometimes, but um, the ordinance. Doesn't allow back and forth to a resident, so it, you kind of took that out of it. So it's one path pretty much for the day. If you back and forth, isn't allowed. That's what Barb had. Uh, but right. the little segment in there, uh, I, I don't have an issue with that. Mm -hmm. I just, the majority of scope yep. of that, we to keep going. Okay. Jim? Jim, has there been any accident over these few years we approved this? The story? only one I can think of was a double X and X in Cronenwetter. And that was probably three years ago, and that's the only one I can think of. Uh, Did he have anything with that tail? No. 
And, and right now we don't have an opening um, underneath J, right? And we can't get this map has that now. Oh, so purple is okay. <laughs> so I talked to a bunch of ATV enthusiasts yeah. and they talked to the proof people and got back to me and that was the big one. Is to get Weston Avenue underneath 29 mm -hmm. to get back onto that trail to get across the flux of the big spot. Right, right. But anyway, um, just to get through there. So. Is there right, is the county, that, that is the county's real. Is uh, there a jurisdiction? It is. Yes and and no? we have one yeah. of those in Rothschild, but they aren't necessarily allowed to stop a connectability on a trail. If it was a dead end segment and there's nothing on the other side, then they were having issues with it. But if like plenty of equipment was one of them that we needed to get a connector in there, yeah. and they said as long as there's a loop that goes through there, they weren't going to be opposed yeah. to it. I've seen them doing it, I, I, and I knew it wasn't really authorized yet. So I wonder, wonder if it was. So I think they're just taking their chances. They're, they're doing yeah. it right now. Yeah. I saw them this weekend. And, yeah. Um, it's already open on that north side. Okay. Um, so. okay. All right. So, so motion. Oh. I have a quick question. Did you say you're not allowed to go residence to residence with them? You're not allowed to go up and down the road. Cruising. If you, okay. If you go to a house, you're just not allowed to. I can't. I don't have the ordinance in front of me, but it's a specific term in there. Cruising. 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 Is a term where you just can't be Cruising. up and down one road know. for no reason. Okay. You know, it's That's designed to. If you're going to go for a ride, go for a ride, come back. But this back and forth and up and down is not allowed. Either. Okay. And that was, we came out in clips. And so that was in, I have to thank Jen for this because I just kind of piled everything in here and sent it over to her. She figured it all out for me. But uh, I took the Rothschild ordinance and kind of jammed it into the Western one so that both ordinances are identical, so that officers know exactly what's what. And everybody has GPSs now, and you're seeing motorcycles and their phones are up, and they run that map. So that's why we took all the streets out of there, because the map is the map. Okay. Um, Jim? Uh, and then I have two text uh, comments on that. In regard to the ordinance, page 270 in the packet. Uh, Section 82.502, paragraph Delta, letter India, number one, uh, strike 2000, replace with 3000. Mm -hmm. And then uh, page 271, Section 82.502, paragraph Delta, Letter double in the uh, strike number three and read number to number four to read number three. Um, and then the reason I want to strike that is UTPs are generally not equipped with a seat design to be straddled by the operator if you're writing them as a manufacturer. And this defines what a UTV is and says you will sit on a seat straddled. So that's an ATV designation, not a UTV designation. But they're both allowed, right? They are, but this is defining yeah, yeah. what a UT, what a UTV is with right. an ATV. Um, okay. 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 Yeah, I lost that. So one. Michael, did that one? Can I cross yeah, right. any okay. place on the twenty nine? I'll be Jay. Jay and Ryan. Jay and Ryan. Just Jay and, and Alderson. Ryan. And Alderson. Mm -hmm. And Alderson. Alderson? No. no. Yes. Yes. Okay. And Ryan by the, the yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Alderson doesn't show up on the map, but basically Volkman technically too, I do believe in Rats. Yeah. You can just keep them off the main thoroughfares. Right, for the most part. It's for crossing only. Like Clintonville, you can cross 45, you can't drive down 45. And yeah, part of this is Scopefield wants to open up some roads, so we needed a connector to help to get them out. out. And that's what uh, Weston did that for Rothschild initially in yes. story. Yep. Yep. And that's how Rothschild opened up. So again, everyone's working together to try to make a better community. Well, I'm getting more and more to open up everything. That, that's just what I'm hearing. Merrill, you can drive me where you want. So do we have to amend that motion that Steve made, or this is a, a separate motion if we're going to strike these things and or talk about the map? Yours is just as presented, right? 
yours was as presented. So you could you could make an amendment. Yes. Okay, so are we clear on what the changes were, Pam? Yes, the rule the so if I just right. if I just amend my motion to say to include changes, right. yes. but that was to the ordinance, not to the map. Oh yeah, yes. we're only we're only we're only voting on the map right now. So oh, okay. nope, I just did the map. Okay, just, they were separate. Okay, so just the map. Um, so are they? The, the I thought it was the whole. Was I thought it was both of them together. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I saw them as two the separate agendas. Them all together. So, yeah. So. Just on the map, Steve, if you would be open to allowing that short section on Spoke without the connect fuller to Tegan. Tegan. Do you guys like Tegan versus the right? The only thing I'm going to say on Ryan is that that is a busy intersection. Yes, it is. And at times, I'd rather see the traffic go down Team. and then come back. Yeah. So okay, I agree. Because it's so busy on that. It's a good, good, good point. Yeah, good point. So you're you were asking just from four to Ryan. Just from four to Tegan. Tegan. Four, four Tegan. to Tegan. Tegan. So yes. Just that. Okay. Wow. My, to that to that point, if we're gonna do that, can I make a suggestion? Please. Can we go from Old Costa to Tegan? Uh, because there is no he, way. He, he needs Old Costa. He, he old Costa. Yes, I do. Yeah. He okay. Does. Yep. So Old Costa to Tegan. Because otherwise, you'd have to go up to to municipal across and you know, over down. Are you okay with that, Chief? Yeah, that's, that's what I said originally. Yeah. Old Costa to Tegan. Old Costa to Tegan. It's it's yeah. literally. 50 yards, if yeah. that. Okay. Okay, so I, I will modify my motion to include changing the map to include allowing ATV traffic on Schofield Ave from Old Costa to Tegan Lane. I would also like to include the two text amendments to the code that Trustee Pinsonalt had mentioned. Does that suffice? Okay. Okay. I will second that. I'll second that. Do you need those restated, Pam, or do we go ahead? Nope, nope, I got them. The changing from 2000 to 3000 and striking that number three about straddling the machine and putting four number three. Thank you. So, Thank all those in favor of the amendment, or is the whole motion amended? We got to vote on the amendment. Okay. First. All those in favor of the amendment, vote uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. The amendment is uh, approved. This is effective immediately, right? Yeah, sure. Upon I, publication. Yep. Yeah, upon publication. Sorry. Or immediately. Tomorrow. Immediately upon publication. All right, now on the like, original. We won't be enforcing anything. I was going to say, I highly yeah. doubt that they're going to be enforcing it. On the original motion, on the original motion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Effective immediately. Uh, B, discussion and or action on ordinance number 24-014, an ordinance amending section 82, article B, all we just did it. We did it. We did them all. Yep. You did A and B? We did. Yep. We're good. Oh, okay. I thought we only did uh, math. That'll work. We do that. 44, discussion and or action on zoning ordinance, general signage regulations, applicable to all zoning districts regarding play, signage, or in pro prohibit prohibition. Prohibition. Who's got this one on these nasty waving plates? I move to direct the Planning Commission to revisit this section of the code and call the solution taking into consideration the practices of neighboring communities, residents, and businesses in the village of Boston. Motion by Pimsonel. Second by Wyatt. So, to that point, this got brought up at planning. Jen, when was that? July? Yeah, last month. It wasn't August. It was okay. it was July. Yeah. 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 Well, either way, and planning did not want to change anything. They that was the direction from the rest of the planning commission. We did discuss it following. Um, what was it that prompted that? There was something that was the email from Jim. Yes, and it came to us, and planning decided that they wanted to leave the ordinance as it is written at that time. Oh, wasn't there two? Wasn't it the answer uh, play? And then later on, there was the open sign at uh, DC Evans. There, and there was, there was a few others. Yeah. 15, yeah. is that what you have in here? 14, like, 
Working flight time has been like 45 days. Okay. okay. So I think that's maybe something worth looking at. Our Rothschild has flight time, right? I don't know if they're permitted or not, but nobody yanks it down. If they're in front of a business that has a permit and a legitimate business, then we don't mess with them. So, so as long as they're paying taxes, we don't do that. So your your reasoning, and I remember this, your reasoning was to leave it as it is so that if it ever gets out of hand, but then how do we then uh, you know take care of it? How do we please it? So the history behind it, I yeah. got that in there. This was all talked about when Emily was here. We went through a whole code mm -hmm. update for the signs because of the uh, Supreme Court case. And we talked about signs that way. And we talked about the flag signs and there was a compromise with signage for businesses with not requiring temporary sign permits. We used to have a temporary sign permit, which we spent a lot of time it would show up out there, we'd see it, we had to let them know, and then we were doing all these after the fact sign summits. So actually they went ended up keeping them up for multiple weeks. Um, and so at that point, the plane commission decided they could have those smaller signs and banners without permits. But they kept the flag signs and the little baby eyes mm -hmm. as and not a lot. But I, I thought you had a discussion and you said we needed it for teeth, but we wouldn't police or something. I thought if it was abused, I think some of the conversation from planning was to keep it there so that if it gets out of hand, it's we there's something there that would allow us to enforce so it. So, four of them at the Green Egg Turner uh, opening, to my, to my, to my knowledge, it's, it's not really being enforced unless someone files a complaint, correct? Right, or the video. Well, I mean. Up. We have eight complaints filed by one trustee that's prompted a lot of this. So I'm so I'm that was there what I was told, and that is what happened. So, so I would say that's, that's not an allowance. That's not okay. No. Who so who can I can I know or is it a HIPAA protection? No, uh, who, who, did, who did the green hat? Who, who complained? Yeah, I did. You did. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. But you're you're actually for the play. I actually I, absolutely I had this discussion with you so many times. I think this is silly. I don't I don't get the game, but I mean you are actually for it and you're trying to say, come on, you guys, knock it off and let it go. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's really what we, we have yeah. 14 of these things in the last 45 days. Mm -hmm. They're not hurting anyone. Our neighbors do it. Mm -hmm. Um 14 of them by you? No, eight by me. Six by what step. happens is Roman will step in if he sees one and he'll talk to the business owner and tell him it's not an important sign. Okay, okay, okay. So, and so I wish you would have said that. I, I wish you would have said that because buy my homes online, 888, 888, screw you. Those are out there all the time. But our new police department picks up, I picked up 50, 60 of them after I was energized because the police are picking them up. But I've never heard a complaint from our village that those signs can go up all over the place, but yet maybe our inspectors see a flag or whatever. They're whatever. picking no, no, no. those signs no, no. up too. You are been collecting the signs for years. Oh, okay. okay. And Where the are parks. They? They're in the dumpster. Okay. okay. When they're placed in the road okay. right of way, yeah, yeah. They're they're not allowed to be placed in the road. Okay. Because right. I I see them a lot. I, I, they are on a lot. On my way home, I just pick them up now. I'm done. I'm so <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so so to Jim's defense, you know, so the Roberts Rules of Order has caught me off guard because I didn't catch on right with, with you, and and you were not for Roberts Rules of Order, but since we said yes to Roberts Rules of Order, now you're going to take us down this rabbit hole, which you did, and I couldn't take it. I gave, I put my hand up, I I choked, I, I wanted someone to give me some water, all that stuff. And, but it was a point. That's what you were trying to do. And so that same point is now trying to be, right? The idea yes. is yes. it's an unfair net. So right now, flags are permitted. So I can fly a Weston flag at my house oh, yeah. Yeah. or my business. Mm -hmm. I can fly a rainbow flag. Mm -hmm. I can fly a John Deere flag. I can fly whatever flag I want to fly at my house or business. Mm -hmm. But now if that flag, instead of being a rectangular shape, is a teardrop shape, now it's a flag sign, it's and open. now it's a violation. Open, yeah. Okay. So if I were to sell John Deere tractors, 
at my store. I can hang a rectangular sign and it's okay to be out there that I sell John Deere tractors. But as soon as that sign is a teardrop shape, I can't sell teardrop shaped John Deere tractors. Same exact content, same exact color, same exact location. You're going to limit me on what I can have. At my house, I cannot have a windmill. I cannot have a pinwheel. I can't put a duck decoy out with spinning wheels or spinning wings because that's prohibited as this code is written. I don't think that's right. What do you think? I think if nobody would have complained to begin with, this wouldn't even be a problem. That's what I think. But okay, so let's say we, I'm sorry, let's but say that's we, where let's I'm say at. We with didn't it. get eight out of the 14. From Jim and then the other six from somebody else. Yeah, he's not yet, pulling yet one. He's, yet he's pulling them down. There's eight he from pulled, Jim, pulled, pulled, six from staff internal, but, and then one citizen. But, but, Roman, you're pulling so, them down. If you see them, you're going to say something, right? Flag sides, I inform them. This that problem was created in this room. Okay. I did not remove them. If it's on their property, I inform them that it's a prohibited. Okay, problem. so it's between the sidewalk and the road. Now what? In between the sidewalk and the road? Yeah. Then it's placed in the right of way. Now, what? and it's illegally placed. Now, period. Is it taken, or does I give it back to you? You, you so you the don't take it. flag sides. Yes, we can put that. Yeah. And I think it's an issue. I think it's an issue. Can I change hats for just one second? Sure. About this. So I've had I've been told twice to take them down. I realize the answer to that is we were told not to do it once. I probably shouldn't have done it the second time. However, it wasn't me. It was my wife. Um, I told as her, as I, I told saw, her, as soon as I, told I, her I asked her, her, that's going to be a problem. I told her I asked her forgiveness. <laughs> of forgiveness. So, but yeah, but I can tell you that both times ours went up, they made it less than eight hours, and I had an email that said it taken down. However, Southern Transport probably had theirs up for six months, so I don't know why one business gets to have it up for six hours, and the other one can have it up for six months. And six because three. they don't go all of a sudden, they hang a left at the whole municipal center, or this everybody's looking at the It's the truth. Yeah, it's the truth. I, so, I, I think it's an issue I think we have to look at. It. I do. I also agree a little bit with what Jen says. I, I do think it makes any municipality look, look a little bit chunky if there's random signs everywhere. So I think there does need to be some kind of stuff. But I mean, for us, what we've tried to put them up at them, we've had a special event. They're going to yeah. be up for yeah. two, three, four days. Well, I, I think but the, I think the, times they've made less the 75 uh, beer uh, signs at every C store was enough, and that's not allowed. I think the open signs are fine. I saw the I saw the one. I saw the gyms. I saw the, the new Pennzoil ones across from Tommy's. I've seen Tommy have stuff out there. Oh, no. I think it should have been. Adventure of Waste, yeah, I, I think it's appropriate store. for uh, <laughs> so so they just hang a, a ice cream cooler out in front of uh, Adventure of Waste. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they hang a sign out that says ice cream. Can't do it, can't have it. Bad business can't do it in less than. That's why we pulled me. You can enforce it for one, you must enforce it equally for all. There are seven people on the commission. I am one. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you what the commission, and it was unanimous. So you can send it back there, but I got a hunch it's going to come back the same way it, it did two months ago. Okay. Discussion or action? I think the I think the the motion was to send it back to the planning commission. Correct. Okay. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Uh, three and two. Okay. That was a aye, aye, aye motion. Have fun with that one. You'll see that one in a month. All right. Forty-five discussion interaction on 2025 sanitary sewer. Utility rate increase. I was educated very well on that during the last meeting. So, what's your pleasure? Great. I moved to increase Western Center sewer base rate 5% and the volume rate by 82%. Of the overall rate increase of 20% for an average of 4,000 gallon per day. Uh, motion by Zagami. Bill to the effective January 16, 2025. Which is the new the building cycle, right? Second. Uh, second by Pips and all. Uh, any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So carried. 46, discussion and or action on a, <coughs> a, re a replacement sewer televising camera. It's reportedly purchased the IVAC sewer camera from a viral deck for $166,167. Uh, motion to approve by Pips and all. Second. Second by Wyland. Uh, on the discussion. I have a question. Yep. 
and I admit I did not read this, but um, I see that there's we're picking the high bid. Yes, the five volt, five volt here, four thousand. Yeah. Okay, and that's allowed it, for statute. It is, and it also works with the equipment we have. Uh, there's oh. a there's a ease an ease in in running it also. Um, and there's something about a scope that pulls down. It know, comes with a lifting crane, right? Right. It's standard, whereas the other one you would have to add that. Probably. Just, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Well, are you finished? Yeah. You award your contract to most or lowest bidder. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but not not highway fifty one fifty one. That that went to the lowest bid and the worst. Sucker in the world that actually costs more than high. Um, uh, uh, longevity. So you never actually see how long we had that piece before. The current one we have is eight years old. Okay. And then with the way the rent one is, is unbelievable. Okay. Uh, all those in favor, um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Let's see. Uh, 47 discussion interaction on tracks or truck up fitting quotes. Just to recommend the village board approve updating of the truck with truck equipment for $248,512. Also recommend the approval of installing a dual steering updating with on team for a cost of $22,100 for a total cost of $270,612. Motion by Pitsnell. Second. Second by Zagami. On the question, it's all in CIP, right? Okay. okay. Sure. Yes. I just have to thank staff for thinking ahead and saying, hey, it seems to be a trend that you do this, and I appreciate that, that you're keeping the equipment interchangeable. It's not necessarily the, the cheapest truck, but in order so that if this truck goes down, you can grab a plow for another one, they all fit, and they all work. Um, the steering wheel so that you can have one guy instead of the truck instead of two for sucking leaves is genius. Love it. Uh, any more on the discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Uh, 48 discussion and or action on Scopel Avenue, Normandy, the Birch. Pedestrian signal crossing locations. I think there was uh, two, four, did I see? Uh, two at the stoplights and then two others, right? And uh, yeah, so yeah. if you look at page 310, it's kind of easy to 310 graphic. So um, currently we have the signals at uh, Alderson and the Target Ace. Uh, there's a Flashing pipe crossing at Fox Street, but it's mostly hidden by elm trees at the moment. And then uh, Birch Street is another signal. So uh, the, I guess the proposed plan design is to redo the Fox Street one, uh, move it to the east side so it's out of the elm trees, and then also uh, have an overhead. And then looking at between Alderson and Normandy Street on the west side there, there currently is not any kind of uh, signal or alert to try to cross that road. I know as part of the scope of that plan, it was noted that that is a difficult corridor if somebody wants to try to cross it on foot. Um, so I guess the, uh, the task of the design engineer for the scope of that project was to kind of come up with some recommendations on locations. And these were two of them that the public works settled on last week Monday. The ones at Pine Street, uh, which would be where the uh, former Alpine Mobile Home Park is on the south side, and then Pine Street heads north where Habitat Club Community is, and then there's some condos and other apartments north there. And then the other one is at uh, Cherry Street where um, I think it's the Traeger Chiropractic and Oscar Blues go uh, north, and then um, south is more residential. So. Getting concurrence that that's where we want to move forward with uh, placing those as we uh, get into more detailed design. Move to approve the location of pedestrian activated crossings at Pine Street, Cherry Street, and Fox Street, as shown on the exhibit for the recommendation of public works. Motion by Pinsel. Second. Second by Sagan. Mm -hmm. Any more on discussion? To clarify, that is what public works said, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What was that? You just that's, that's, I just clarified that that's what Public Works said. It, I watched it on the video on the screen. It wasn't, I couldn't tell on the recording where. There were more options at Public Works, and then we narrowed it down from those two throughout the meeting. The yeah. reason we pick up that one because the poor little houses are there. Those yeah. people they want to cross. Yeah. 
I no, I agree with you. We can't. It's hard to make sure we're doing what was on public work. In a big city, when you step on the curb, everybody stops for you. In here, when you stop on the curb, everybody speed up to beat you. Too. Well, it depends who you are, but me for sure. Yeah. Uh, so hearing no, no more discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 49. We're getting close to you. Discussion and or action on business park phase two paving chamber number one. Chamber one for the business park north, east phase asphalt paving project for price of twenty thousand seven hundred and six thousand seven six cents. A motion by Pinsnell. Second by Wyland. On the discussion. I have a question. Question. How do we end up with six inches of asphalt in some areas? Is that is that just a failure on the previous contractor? Do we not did we not do borings at that time? Is that why we we do them now? Um, I, I guess the previous pavement project when it was done, you know, the base course maybe was a little low at intersections. So when they came in, they just they made it a little thicker. You know, you don't always have perfect grades every sure. turn. And you know, they might have graded it once and then traffic ran over it. And I don't know. I, I sure. You know, I, I was, I was just asking. I didn't. It was more or less a yeah, learning it, opportunity. It can happen. But, uh, usually, you stake the center line and you hope your slope is good. But if they, you know, over slope it, then along the edges of the roadway, it gets thicker. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hearing no more discussion, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. 50. Discussion and or action on draft 2025 street maintenance budget. What's your pleasure? Move to approve by Zagami. Second. Second by Pinsonal. On the question, Jim? Yes. Uh, what was our 24 maintenance budget? Is this equal to or greater than? Slightly. Slightly greater than. Well, so in 2024, we added $100,000 from salt savings. So our uh, total is going to be. About seven hundred and seventy thousand total. Uh, but here we're at six hundred and eighty, so we're, we're about a hundred thousand dollars less, uh, mainly due to the difference in because the salt. Salt. so yeah. ten thousand more if you take the salt out, right? Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, some of our roads need attention, mm -hmm. you just can't run it down. Correct. Um, I, and I'm good with that. I, I want it to be high, and then the question is which which roads remain in the village that are an overall rating of four or less. Many of them. Um, We're just going to like handle most of those very poor condition roads. We still have a few. I, I can bring that back and show you which ones they are. They're generally streets that are dead ends or pretty rural in nature that aren't traveled a whole lot. Like, are we trending that those would be handled in the next? Yeah, so I, I try to get. You know, maybe a mile or so of the, the less traveled roads every year. Um, you know, uh, a while ago, the, the direction was mainly let's keep our arterial, our pleasure streets. I think I use this phrase at public works. You know, I get calls about snow plowing. People always say, I'm the last road that plowed. And I say, how do you know that? And they say, well, because every other street I drive on is plowed already. And I'm like, well, that's great. So that means we're plowing correctly and we're getting the, the, the main roads cleared first and then getting the side streets. So, same thing is kind of the status for me. Um, well, I mean, Jamie, means. Jamie is the last one because when she got elected, we didn't want to compliment her. So yeah. that's we definitely wait. We actually come I back to your area and do it again. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same thing with those streets. We, we want to make sure our main thoroughfares, our roads that everybody uses, are kept in good passing condition, and we'll get those other ones. Okay. I think. Uh, yep. We talked at a public forum. We don't want to see our road turn this way. We want to be proactive. Mm -hmm. This is, yes, yeah. that's the kind of a rural area, but it's still we're going to be portion every year. Right. The worst part of it every year and catch up with it. So we can't have this kind of. I have a, I have a quick yep. question. Um, I see you've got Michael, Cheryl, Jacob, and Alex west of Sandy Lane. Yep. Um, is was Hewitt done recently, or I no, guess Hewitt Rock Rapids would, would all be in there. The um, only reason I ask is I, I was at a friend's house over the weekend on yeah. Hewitt, and I noticed some pretty significant stripping in the middle of that road too. Yeah, it's right in that same area. So I didn't know if they were all 
originally paid at the same time if we wanted to we would get some kind of discount if we did them all at the same time since it's right there yeah i would go look at switching those around so this is generally just a plan so i make sure that when you guys see a budget for street maintenance of six hundred seven hundred thousand dollars you have an idea of where that money's going sure uh, so before we actually bid i do check roads generally in february march as we kind of get through winter because sometimes spring the trees thaw and they wreak havoc on a street and um, we go wow that this one we really need to move up so this is kind of the draft going in and then come march we, i'd come back and just get that finalized and say okay we're all in agreement this is what we're doing this year and we put up the bids then in march okay you do it in rock campus we can no 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 i don't make it a skateboard ready I want it a little less. So this is we leave our area alone. Sure. So like short. Yeah, yeah not quite sure. like short. Yeah, yeah. Both touch it. Yeah, both touch it. All right. So uh let's see anything that with no more discussion. Uh all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carry 51. Discussion and or action on recommendation of the plan commission to amend site plan and tip development agreement for multi-tenant commercial development at 2302 Scope Avenue Lockery Development Project. 2024010. I motion to approve amending the development agreement for the multi tenant commercial development at 2302 Schofield Ave to include the newly revised site plan as presented. A motion by Cronin. Second. Second by Sujami. Any more on discussion? Did anybody hear me? Any more on discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. So carried. So that was a five to one. No. All right. Uh, any attorney referrals? Four to one. Uh, one, two, three, four, one. I stand corrected. Make a huge note that uh, Cronin corrected Maloney. And <laughs> four to one instead of five to one. And eight forty-two. Yeah. And eight forty-two. Yeah. yeah. All right. Only my tenth time today. Uh, attorney referrals. Any attorney referrals? I got to tell you, people. I eight forty-two. I'm pretty darn happy. Uh, administrative referrals. Any administrative referrals? Uh, any remarks from trustees? Weird. I was talking to a committee member at our park, and I don't know how you do this or if you can, but if number 42 can go back to parks because they also don't recall it in the attachments. So maybe if you can look back in the minutes. Sure. Uh, can I go back on the agenda? What do you do? For parts. Okay. Would you want to change the deadline on the the motion then? Or I think you'd still make a November 15 deadline though. Yeah. Parts of well, well, the board have to come back to the board in October. Then you're gonna only have a couple days. It wouldn't, it wouldn't it wouldn't be completed by the 15th of November. It goes back to committee at the end of this month and it goes to the board the third Monday in October. Well, well, yeah, if the well, approves it, then it's already been approved by the board. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm just maybe just for discussion. Yeah. Good. So, what is the first thing you can do? 23rd. Yeah, next week. Meeting after that, right? Or the yeah. budget. Yeah. You can throw it on the budget. Yeah. Just to throw it for a formality. Uh, remarks and trustees. Uh, Steve, we're okay. Thank you. I think I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Jim? Uh, remarks from the president. A great job. We had a 45 minute late start. I have something for police. I can't think of right now. And I don't like complete. Oh, the candy and stuff. Uh, and that, oh, and then elections. Um, you know, let's just make sure we're way ahead. I, I know you are, but this is going to be a monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And yeah. um, our, I, I've actually heard a few people, my neighbor, one, that she's a uh, a watcher. Um, she's brought up twice now talking to dog about the police protection. I, I'm good. And Let's just talk about the day. I was a little surprised with her saying that, and I'm going, at, at voting? Why, you know, I would think a, a bigger area or something, you know, if I have some nut. But um, I, then I thought, oh, geez, she's brought it up twice. You know, maybe others are concerned, but they don't say nothing. And it is a monster. And I, I can't imagine how we hold the discussions. And not let it topple over, you know, this 
I mean, it's, honestly, some people are just pins and needles. There's just, I want November 4th just to be over with. I, I, I really. Will there know. be cameras anywhere? Or? Yeah, I mean, no, but other than the ones we have. Yeah, I mean the cameras in the building. You'll see everyone come in. Well, yeah, and the, down the, the hall. entry cameras. Yeah, yeah, but that's it. Right. Just in the entry of the building. Well, all the room. Room. So if somebody comes in with a Trump T-shirt or a Harris T-shirt, is that allowed? They can do that. They just can't electioneer. So if they come in and they just come and vote and they walk out the door, right? That's fine. So they can. But if they come they in and they Disney start, if they start electioneering, oh, electioneering, I, I then they meant. can't do okay. that. Yeah, they can't. Then they can't stand outside. So, nope, so they gotta no, be like within hundred so feet, I think. I, I thought they can't be with could them. be. This is similar to my remarks. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, but um, so I can't put a, a election sign within five hundred feet of a voting booth, right? I think um, it's a hundred. Oh, a hundred. Yeah, but I can walk in with a T-shirt. I believe you can. I just ain't a sign. It can't be a flag sign done. So I can't put a huge sign on the side. Election of my car workers can and park it here, but I can but wear a T-shirt. No, I'm 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 almost 100 percent positive that if somebody walks in and has a hat on or something that says something, that they can they as long as they're not talking, they can go through the line. Um, they can do their business and leave. How how um, how many people do we have here? I'm gonna guess, well, it depends how many absentee ballots we get, but I would say we'd have a 90% turnout, so somewhere around 7,000. So if we get, say we get 3,000 absentees, that'd be 4,000 people in here. And remember in August of, August, or I'm sorry, April of 2023, we almost had 3,000 in here. So you buy 1,500 Harris hats and 1,500 Trump hats, <laughs> and you just put three or four on the first people in for free, and then sell them all for 25 bucks a piece. Pay <laughs> about nine bucks a piece. That's <laughs> called sushi money, but sushi don't last. All right, that's enough of this. Uh, future items next meeting, Monday, September 23rd. Open? I'm sorry? Is that open? What's open? Sushi? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, in person absentee is not open yet. No, two weeks that'll before. be October two weeks 22nd. Yep. Two weeks out. Yeah. I will be within the you first 10. Yeah, and yeah, we are whatever. extending yeah. hours for yeah. that. So we'll I, have I, had, I had several calls for some of the stuff. So. Yeah. For a couple of days a week. For mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm extending it to 6 o'clock at night. Yeah. And then we'll do it the Saturday prior from 8 to noon. So. Are we pushing uh, Are we pushing two weeks prior? We will be. Push yep. like crazy. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they're they're going to be so much happier coming in early. and mm -hmm. I know you like the in-person pool, but. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. Too. I'm gonna come early this year. I would not stand in line for nothing. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. Too. And based off all your numbers, you have ballots. Yes, but we haven't gotten them yet because that's another. We might not get. We have to have them out by Thursday this week. But there's a lawsuit right now. On, Filed. On Kennedy. Yep. yep. And we're waiting, waiting. They're probably gonna come on Wednesday. So if they come with Kennedy under, you have to just duct tape them all. I don't know. We haven't had guidance yet. I'm sorry. I'm, and I, I shouldn't have said that. All right. Future items next meeting Monday, 23rd, 2024, budget meeting, and Monday, October 7th, budget special meeting. Looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved by Cardinal, second by Wyland, and um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned at 8:49. Great job, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.